Oh, the sound effects are off. Burr, burr, oh, burr, burr. So loud. I'm so tired. Not even wearing a suit. I couldn't put the suit on this week. But we're here. And you know what? We're not afraid of a little corona. I got guests. It's Harley. It's Jacob. Yep. You know, every time you uh, lick somebody else's hand, a corona gets its host. Wow. Richie says, welcome to the Mike Bloomberg Memorial Show. That's right. Mike yep. pulled out. We lost all our sponsorships. Mm -hmm. It's over. I got no money. Yeah, we had to pay for this beer. Yeah. Well, Jake did. Probably. Jake modeling the beer very yeah. nicely. <laughs> and thank God. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. How's it been? I see Mandy I'm, was I'm worried tired. about me. Are you devastated about Mike? Like I oh, am. yeah. I mean, the biggest thing about Mike Bloomberg dropping out of the race is that I no longer get paid to advertise him on my show. Yeah, and we haven't uh, wooed Werner's back yet. Yeah, right. we kind of burned that bridge. Yeah, literally. Yeah. There was a bridge. There, there was a fire involved, and... It's pretty bad. Um, that, that so bad, in fact, that Heather refuses to be on the show this week. Yeah. yeah. So, if that, you if you were hoping if you were hoping for Heather to be on the show, she has she will not be appearing. Yeah. Right, Heather? She didn't respond. Correct. Oh, she said correct. We're gonna listen to EXO later. Harley's trying to woo her with K-pop. Yeah. I don't know if that's gonna work. It might. Mm -hmm. I kept the golf clubs though. I didn't sell those. They wouldn't take them back because they're they, they're dirty because of <laughs> how much golfing I did. Yeah, really driving into the ground when you're trying to hit those balls. I don't golf much, so yeah, that does happen. Big divots. Is yeah. that how you usually say it? Divot or divot? Divot. <laughs> duvet. Duvet. Yeah. Please be careful. Carving duvets in it's there for golfers. <laughs> get it? <laughs> oh, I get it. Folks, it has been. Yet I see. I say this every single week. It's been a long fucking week. I'm exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> I coming on coming up to the show today. I was like, am I even gonna do this thing? Should I just cancel it? I'm just like racking my brain, trying to figure out what we're, what we're gonna do on the show, what things we can talk about, stuff like that. And I just had nothing. Yeah. My brain is like a fizzle right now. It's just like a Ugh, fizzle. Um, but I think the thing, I think the biggest thing is I was supposed to fly to Florida tomorrow, mm -hmm. uh, Monday morning. Yeah. And the I, health, international, medical, something, something, yep, hymns. Yep, hymns. Yeah. Uh, I was supposed to go to hymns, but it got canceled. They canceled the whole thing. Um,. Trump was so supposed now, to be there. Yeah, he was going to be there on Monday, the day that I arrived. Ron, and he was going to fly into the same airport as me. Yeah, Ron so, was going to martyr himself. My boss was telling me about how they're probably going to can't, they're going to like delay all flights by like two hours. And it was like going to be a nightmare. But then they just canceled the whole damn thing. But the thing is, the secret is, I was actually really looking forward to going to Florida because I'm so tired of the cold. Yeah. Like the mm -hmm. snow and the I, cold, I'm sick of it. Even just for yeah. a day. Yeah. I mean, hey, we're almost out of it. Yeah, I was only going to be there for like 30 <laughs> hours. So yeah. like, it was going to be like in the 70s or something. <laughs> yeah, I was saying, you'd probably be like in the conference area. And but at least there room. would be sun. You know what I mean? Like at least the sun would be out. It yeah. would be warmish. I forgot what the sun is, honestly. <sighs> I was just looking forward to that. So that got me thinking about summertime. We're coming up on summer. Mm -hmm. It's getting warmer out. I don't think we're going to have any more big snows this year. Fingers crossed. 
I, the last time it snowed, I broke my snow shovel, <laughs> signaling the end of, of okay. the winter. <laughs> or at least the end of shoveling. <laughs> And then we had to go buy a new one. So there, uh, there is a new shovel. Yeah. Um, but I was thinking, what's this summer going to be about, man? What are we going to do this summer? Summer, I feel like summer should have a theme. Summer means rat season, though, Richie says. Ooh. Okay. Well, so does winter, apparently. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, I'm okay with... I can. I think I can contain the rats by just taking good care of the garbage can area. Mm -hmm. But I, the thing I, I want to do is figure out what is the theme of the summer. Yeah. I think we should get really big into hooliganism this summer. Mm -hmm. A lot of tipping trash cans. A lot of... Uh, hooliganism? Yeah. A lot of titty twisters, what have you. Yeah, to strangers. Oh, wow. So, like, bullying <laughs> to strangers. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get really big into graffiti. Microsoft respects your privacy. Great. No. No. <laughs> Just let me do this. So. Okay. Remember back uh, in the day when you could open a Microsoft Word yeah, doc? Yeah, you could just open a fucking Word doc and not have to tell you that you can't use what I type or whatever? Good lord. Okay, so there's 104 days of summer. Vacation. 104 days of summer. You missed a word. 104 of summer. Until school comes Days. along just to end it. And then we got our, I'm going to, let's do some options here. Hooliganism. Yep. Number one with the bullet. This is my shirt, Maddie. Bullying. Hold on, I'll, I'll get it closer. Do that camera over there. Nah, I'm good. Uh, I... The shirt went to my office. They're closed. I can't go pick it up. Graffiti. Sorry. Tagging. I'm not happy about it. What else? What else is involved with hooliganism? Smoking in the boys' room. Yeah. Smoking. Big one. I'm just going to put smoking in general because that is a bad kid thing. To I do. don't want to do it, though. So is this just day one? Are we going <laughs> to do 104 themes? Here's uh, the thing. I don't think uh, that's a theme, but we're going to outline some themes and then choose one. Yeah. About uh, sand. Theme of sand. Yeah. Yeah. Sand man. Beaches. Okay. <laughs> but also deserts. Sleeping. I'm thinking sand man. Sand man. The guy who makes you sleep. Man. Sand men. <laughs> sand, mm. <laughs> sand men. Why can't it be sand man or woman? Or Sam people. <laughs> That's different. Oh, Jake, were you were you on the show last week? Uh, um, I wasn't. Hold on. You were in the show last you week. You know what my favorite part of Star Wars is? <laughs> arr, 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 arr. <laughs> yeah. Good, that joke is even better the second it's time. It's actually my favorite part of Star Wars, too. <laughs> uh, what about this? Here's my idea for a theme of the summer. Finish all the stupid projects... Mm. You oh. started. We gotta get Jake, that table with done. Jake. <laughs> the table. Number one with a bullet. Right? Yeah. The table. How about also paint the bedroom? Get that uh. smoker working again. Fix the smoker. I think when it comes to the summertime, that's another good theme though. Smoking. Oh, yeah. Meat. Smoking with the boys. Oh, God. <laughs> but but no. <nah>. Uh, <laughs> smoking boys meat. Smoke. <laughs> but that but before we can do that we do got to fix the smoker yeah what's wrong with the smoker the temperature probe in the smoker is busted oh um so so no. could it still technically work use the fire pit that we dug a year and a half ago and never used next yeah. uh line though mongo jerry mongo the band yeah mongo jerry mongo jerry what is this I'm not... they do the song which song? Smoking time. Oh. In the summertime. You <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta listen to Mongo Jerry's song. <laughs> oh, yep. That's a good one. Thank you, Maddie. Fermentation. Yeah. Yep. We're going to do kimchi. We're going to do brain. Brain? Yeah. Rat brain. No. 
I don't think you could ferment <laughs> brain. It's too I'm fat. Sure you can. Fat? No, brain gets rancid. Mm. What about? Or I mean, fat gets rancid. It doesn't ferment well. Then how did mm. they do like a sausage? Sausage isn't fermented. Uh, some of them, like a pickled sausage. Those are like cured. I, pickling uh, isn't fermenting. I don't think. Pickling, it is no, a, it's a not. Pickle it, is pickling fermented. is typically curing, like with salt, with the salt brine. Fermentation is controlled rot. That's so, the thing. So, you so think. I'm taking it from. I know that probiotics come from fermentation, and pickles are loaded with probiotics. So I think there's at least a little bit happening there. It depends on probably depends on the pickles that you get because the, yeah. a lot of times the salt content is probably too high for probiotics to live. But pr- probably if you make your own pickles, it's probiotic. Yeah. But I don't know if you're going to buy some fucking some what are the the those like dill pickles with the stork. Vlasic? Vlasic. Yeah. Classic Vlasic. Yeah, I don't think those Vlasic ones are yeah, any good. Ah. Um. Uh. What else? What other projects? What are, yeah, I was saying, what other projects are you going to build an exoskeleton for Reggie? Oh, that was one, but. <laughs> so he can. Vlasic has the best hot pickles. Mm, mm. I don't know. I really. I mean, I don't God, know. Every time I try to steer this fucking podcast away from food, we just. We just veer right into it. I really like uh, the place Ron used to work. Hey, this there, Corona? Sweetheart. It's not bad. That's all right. Wish it was colder, but that's not the Corona's fault. I just bought it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. What other projects? That Warhammer shit? Yeah. I'll be getting my Ikea stuff in soon. That's going to be a big project. I got a... I got a... Uh, I got a... Ikea. Ikea order coming in. C- coming coming to fruition here mm-hmm. soon. Getting a bed. Yeah. Um, what else? Oh, uh, uh, sound on this show. Yeah. Fix the sound. <laughs> Fix the damn sound on make this a, show. Make this better. We have 10 viewers right now. Yeah. That's 10 people who li- whose lives could be improved. Yeah. Who's, who could hear us better. So I was looking into this. I've been looking into this, okay? We're going to do lav? Lav mics, what is, yeah. What is lav? With, with a mixer. Loud. It stands for lavalier. Oh, okay. Which I don't know why. Yeah, it's don't ask French. me what that means. It's French or something. Something. Lavalier mics, which means that we'll clip them to our shirts, and then Harley, La- you'll lavatory. just make sure your beard isn't brushing yeah. up on it. They're lavatory, your brother says. So no, it, It's so it can record you in the bathroom. I don't think that's it. Yeah, because a lot of people will be on stage, go take a shit, forget to shut it off, and you hear the farts. It's funny. Um, I think <laughs> Doughboys did that once. <laughs> uh, or at least they joke about it a lot. <laughs> lav mics. So you think you think of wireless lav mics, Jake? Mm-hmm. Um, lav mics for the show. with, a, But to do that, I need to get an audio mixer. So I've been looking at audio mixers on Amazon. Shit's expensive. <laughs> like, that's the thing that sucks. And then the other part is I don't know anything about this stuff, so I'm learning as I go, which means that there's a real distinct possibility that I could spend a bunch of money on something that's not going to work because I just don't understand. Right. Or, or it's, like, not meant to work. Because I'm, I'm running the show through OBS. That's how we stream the show. And... I, can can OBS support a sound mixer, or do I have to move to some kind of? It's like, impossible to know. Yeah, I know, I know we can figure these questions out, but I don't know. Another option, uh, get like three AirPods and just put them in, in, in our ears, so that we don't have mm. to hear through the TV. And oh, people can okay. hear us. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Three inputs. That we could crank up the Luna. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's part of the project. Fix the damn sound on the show. On the damn show. Oh, uh, so yeah. Bob says, "Fuck it, spend more money." <laughs> yeah. That's the idea, Bob. Yeah, that's what it's gonna come down to. Should we uh, should we meat. list out what kind of meats we want to smoke? I've never smoked. Here's some things I've never smoked: a brisket, brisket, yep. brisket. <laughs> What's uh, corned beef? That's a brisket. Oh, it sure is. 
also corned beef is cured. Meat. Did you know that? It's a cured meat. So when you when you make it, you brine it for like three days or something like that, mm. and then then you can just I think you can just eat it after that. Is um, I don't think you have to, or you boil it. I think actually, which is is corn is corn involved in the process of corned beef? Why is it? Called uh, that? I think corning something is is a thing. Okay. I think it's a verb. I, I could be talking and get it. I, I could be completely wrong. I, uh, I corned some teachers at school. I, think, I opened up cans of corn and threw it at them. You know what I, I want to do again? I think that's where you were going. I want to do another pork shoulder. Remember that pork shoulder I, I smoked? Mm. Yeah. That was so fucking good. Yeah. And I want to be able to eat it when it's hot this time. It's pastrami smoke and brisket. Smoke hot dogs. We've done it, but we got to do it again. Yeah, we could smoke some dogs. Smoke salmon? Do you like fish? Ooh, smoke salmon. I think you smoke salmon cold, though, don't you? Isn't that a cold smoke? I don't know. I don't know. I know it's just quick, because you don't need to cook it fat or for long at all. Do you smoke bacon? See, I don't know much. We did smoke bacon, didn't we? So what we did was we took a uh, pork um, loin, and we wrapped it in bacon. And we... We use colored toothpicks, which then dra- drained all the color. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, smoked chicken is very good. Smoked chicken. Yeah, I would chicken. say, what kind of poultry options do we have? Uh, turkey. I thought about for um, two years in a row now, I've considered, hmm, I should smoke a fucking turkey for Thanksgiving. That would be all right. We could do turkey. Just We could do yeah. Thanksgiving, summertime Thanksgiving and just smoke a turkey. Did you do smoked sausage? I feel like you did. I have done smoked um, <clears throat> bratwurst. Oh, okay. And we're back to food, everybody. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Some could say we never left food. <laughs> um, are there non-meat options for smoking? Oh, yeah. Like, we could smoke vegetables, smoked watermelon. Smoked that watermelon. wasn't smoked so much it was, as it was grilled. And also, I didn't think it was very good. <laughs> Yeah. It was just hot watermelon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, so, explain smoking for the boys and girls at home. It's. We got a fact check from my mom in the chat. It's called corn because the salt you, you cure the meat with is large and referred to as corn. Hmm. Oh. So, it's not actually corn, it's no. just the salt is referred to corn? Yeah. Uh, mm. So cheeses, we could smoke cheeses. Ooh. Ooh. Again, I think that's a, probably a cold smoke, though. I, yeah. This is <laughs> just, just melt. <laughs> I'm just looking up ten foods you can smoke besides meat, and cheeses was one. Put the word Traeger in there. It says smoked with apple or cherry wood chips. Yeah, but that's probably still a cold smoke. Like I don't, I don't there, know what these things. Are so mean. basically, like yeah, what you, is smoking? Smoke. So a cold smoke is where the smoke is separate from where you're burning it. So all you're doing is just curing the, the whatever through the smoke passing oh, over it. Mm. Can you and not do that with yours? I So I could. It's a separate attachment. On, on I would have to buy that attachment. Mm. And then it's a little box that just goes on the side. And then the smoke from the grill portion goes through the tube into the cold is smoke. It cool? Is it like cool as it goes over? Uh, yeah. Like it, it, The thing is that it's separated from the heat, mm-hmm. right? Like, so they they call it cold smoking. It's probably not actually like. It's just not like. It's fire not. Hot. It's like probably less than 180 degrees, yeah. which is the lowest my smoker will go. Fingerlim potatoes. Smoked, smoked potatoes. Mm. Potatoes are so good. Smoked potatoes. I. You know what I want to do? I I really want to do. Fall off. The bone ribs mm. which i've never done before i've only never done like i've done ribs several times mm-hmm. but i usually do a three two one rib which means it still sticks to the bone a lot um which is fine they still taste good right but zucchini? i've never dude i love zucchini i do too zucchini is there two yeah i think so zucchini there. Zucchini. Folks, it, it, it sounds like you can just about smoke. Do you vegetable. smoke peppers? Uh, I saw a guy do it, but he burnt his lungs. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, grilled, smoked western ribs. Grilled asparagus and honey. 
So Western ribs are like dry ribs, right? I'm not a big fan of dry ribs. I I can I I I, I can get down with a dry rib. I can fucks with the dry rib. But I prefer <laughs> but I prefer them wet. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen that video of the 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 guys like like all these fat guys like we're here talking about ribs if you like them wet <laughs> you guys not seen that no hold on i'm pulling that video up <laughs> oh that's a spoiler spoiler for something oh okay wet versus dry ribs video i imagine you're not gonna get there with this <laughs> We are in Mason City. Nope, this is it, because it's Mike Huckabee. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. The Iowa, I mean, Golden Grain Energy. They're an ethanol producer. Look at these fat it's guys. Important to the future of our time. Guy. But we got to talking about something really important. He's hung. Barbecue. Here's the question we asked. Wet ribs, dry rub ribs. And the consensus here in Iowa. <laughs> <is right. laughs> what do you think? You can vote, right? Wet ribs, dry rub ribs. Wet ribs, dry rub ribs. Wet ribs, dry rub ribs. The answer, by the way, is wet ribs. I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm like such a carnivore that I would just eat any of them. Wet ribs, dry rub ribs. Uh, I could do some. Let's put dry rubs in. Dry, dry rub on there. Yeah, let's let's live Whatever, a little. Whatever, man. We're fucking, we are uh, we are masters of our own fucking destiny here. There's no reason why we can't do a dry rub rib. It's a little raw, but but I'll be here all week. Sorry, huh? this is a meme show now. Oh, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, just now. Do we have any more ideas for themes? I feel like the two themes that we've come down to are finished projects or smoking with the boys. I like sand. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think... Can, can we... you put Egypt at the end of that? Yeah, let's like go Egypt to Egypt. Important. I'm going to put Egypt on here, but I think I think we're cutting <laughs> sand. Oh, man. I think we're going to cut mm. sand. It's so iconic. Where sand cutting. is gone. Egypt's gone. Hooliganism. I'm too lazy for this, and I don't want to start smoking. <laughs> can we cut hooliganism? Yeah, I have a lot of dreams I start smoking, and I really regret it. Mongo Jerry, you made a good song, but he's in. We can do that <laughs> while doing all the other no. stuff. No, we're picking one theme. Which theme do you guys prefer? Finish all the stupid projects you started or smoking with the boys? Why not both? One of them sounds harder and less fun. We can finish projects, but it's while more satisfying. With the it's more satisfying. Is it to finally you finish all these ribs? projects? <laughs> <laughs> I say both. Well, one we of these things. One of these things. No, we didn't, Jake. That's the problem. We tried. No, yeah, we try <laughs> a lot. We try a lot. <laughs> this one right here, the table. Fuck it, dude. We started that in September of 2018. Was it 18 or that was 17? <laughs> No, we moved in here in <laughs> July 2018. Yeah. And in September, we started a table with the idea of having it done in, in like one month. week. <laughs> we're, we, I was assured it would be finished in a week. We could finish it in a week. No problem. Sounds like a fool's mm -hmm. end. Well, it is now <laughs> March 7th, 2020. <laughs> and that table is sitting in the other room. Almost complete. But it's not close enough. But also, when's the last time we worked on it? <laughs> it's been a long time. Well, yeah. That's why I'm saying we got to finish the stupid projects we started. Okay, but huh? we are definitely going to smoke, right? Not cigarettes. What is Google? Um, paint the bedroom. We were going to do that when we moved into the house. Mm. There are paint sp Splotches. Is that what those are called? Spatches? Mm -hmm. Splotches. Splotches. Swatches? Swatch. A swatch. Like for the color? A Swiss yes. swatch? There are paint swatches paint taped to my bedroom wall. Tainted to your bedroom wall. That have been there since we moved in. I remember yeah. when Heather did them. I was here, I think. Fix the smoker. Fix the smoker. That, that was just a problem from last year. Use the fire pit. Again, September 2018 is when we dug the fire pit. Yeah. We finished that one in a day. We could and we could 
use that. We could do that anytime. We don't even have to wait for. Yeah, summer. we could do that today. But yeah. it's too cold today. But we no, could do it today. No, a fire. The whole point is that you have a fire. Fermentation. It's actually really nice today, Ron. You haven't been outside. Yeah, it's like I have been outside. Almost no, fifty. It's it, that's too cold. It needs to it be like be in the cold. 60s, 70s. It will nice probably fire. be too cold at night. I'll give you that. Yeah. Fermentation. I got started. I fermented some onions, that, and I fermented. You know, I made some some of my kombucha. Even buchin. But I haven't been making kombucha lately. It's been a long time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Maddie's right. I want to smoke bitches, get money. He said I want to smoke bitches. Okay, so I let's say let's take a vote between the three of us right now. What are what is our theme for the summer? Smoking with the boys or finish the stupid projects? I think the projects you've compelled me. The projects. Yeah. What do you we, think, Jake? But we are going to smoke with the boys still, right? Well, I we need have, both. So part of it is fix the smoker. Yeah. No, Jake, because here's the thing. is When we when we we have a project and we smoke, all that we do mm, is, smoke. Is, is just watch the food cook we're, and then eat it. We're kind of like mm-hmm. potheads, aren't we? Yeah. A little when bit. When we smoke, we just smoke. We always have grand ideas. Like, oh, yes, <laughs> this, we're going to do it this time. We're going we're gonna to smoke a, a pork loin. And finish the table. I still do work. I o- I always do. Uh, okay, finish projects. Yeah. Once we finish all the stupid projects, can... then it's smoking We got to get halfway boys. through. All right, that's the theme of the summer. Summer, two thousand and twenty. Finish all the stupid projects. You Aaron started. wants kombucha. Yeah, I, I think, know. I Ron's think we gonna should... ship you some scoby. We You'll should be prioritize the table. I think. <laughs> Easy. Finish all the stupid projects you started. There was one I just thought of when I was looking at this uh, project. Oh, uh, finally waxed. Hang up. paintings and stuff, <laughs> which we never did. We have all these paintings that you know uh, Jason Brown painted mm-hmm. some painting for mm-hmm. us. None of that stuff's hung up. Yeah. Oh, I feel better already. Theme of the summer: yeah. fix all the stupid projects. We'll check in on that. And it's nice to to get this list together in winter when we have a well, whole we have a whole, a whole planning season. season. Yeah, where we can just chill out, drink coronas, get <laughs> yeah. coronavirus, and recover from coronavirus and then get started. Yeah, I'm young and I'll never die. Okay. Are you guys ready? What do you got for us, Jake? Alright. I said purple. <clears throat> Ron gets purple. Kids, kids love unboxing stuff and watching people unbox stuff. So I got us some... Gelatines. Gelatines. Why does it feel empty? Um, I don't know. I've never... I don't know what, are what we these get, are. Did we get ripped off? I'm, <laughs> I'm opening mine. It looks like a container of gelatin. And I think there's teens inside I'm here. shaking it. I'm shaking it. I'm shaking there's it. There's nothing if you shake it. Not for me. Yeah, no, no oh. movement... Oh, it's nothing. A, it's a big girl. Oh. Oh, it's, she's squishy. Oh, her hair's squishy. Is this food? I don't think so. <laughs> uh, caution. Contents may be extremely cute. <laughs> Here's mine. Ooh. Are you I, sh- who did I get? Okay, it's not food. I oh, did try to bite did it. They did have you? <laughs> uh, this. Contain, but if you smell it, it smells like food. It can also have other stuff. Oh, it's saying you can also use it for other shit. Yeah. Like what? Uh, Maybe whatever pens, fits pencils. in this cup. I oh, I see. You just use the cup. It's telling you to reuse it and not be a dipshit. Okay. Gelatin, even. <laughs> Does it say that? No, but what is this, Jake? Did you get us toys? Oh, they smell. Yeah, I know. Mine smells like strawberry. Mine's uh like fake strawberry. Though. Yeah, mine smells like synthetic fruit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, mine says tutti fruity on it. Oh, you got the name? Uh, Pia Pina Colada. But isn't that for children? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is the kids love it. Teens love pina colada. Where's the name? Eat Chelsea it? cheesecake. I don't wanna. Does it smell like a cheesecake? <laughs> I mean, does it? It bites <laughs> good. Which one's this? This doesn't smell like anything. Mine yeah. smells like a pina colada hardcore. Trade it, trade it down. Here I did go. buy oh, it. Oh, yeah, so. Jake's is fragrant. Oh. Jake's is fragrant. Mine was pretty fragrant, too. 
This one I don't smell. This one I do. I don't smell anything from this. No? <laughs> As Ron <laughs> sniffles through his coronavirus <laughs> nose. <laughs> yeah, we're all going to get The sick. gelatines uh, okay. strain. Now it's just starting to stink. Well, thank you, Jake. Yep. Yeah, good segment. I can still smell this one pretty good. <laughs> so that's uh, gelatines. Which the gelatines at bigger feet. Below. Yeah, what the hell? You can't even stand them up. It's one segment from me. I have more when we're ready. T this is Tina Tutti Fruity. <laughs> right here for the... Jake, hold yours up to that camera over I there. I did, I did. No, up to that camera over there. Yeah, get it. I, again, I did, but I will. This is Pia. It kind of looks like a um, Pia, like a Pia Powerpuff Colada. Girl, like a knockoff mm. Powerpuff Girl. Can you do mine too? Here's Harley's. Chelsea Cheesecake. <laughs> Chelsea Cheesecake's good. There you go. Yeah, they do look like knockoff Powerpuff Girls. Yeah, a lot. Well, we unboxed it. The hair is soft like a stress ball. The body is hard. Like, but for some reason, I still feel... They got like, hard bodies. <laughs> they're hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't believe I tried to bite it. I, really, I did, too. It really did smell like food. I mean, it looked like a container of, like, ice cream. I think yeah, I thought that's what we were It looks like a it. pint of ice cream. Yeah. Oh, no. Dan Reviews wrote, eat it. So I did. That's Dan. That's Dan Iannucci. Oh, well, okay. I shouldn't say his name IRL. Whoops. That's Dan Rykart. I did bite it. I did not try to eat it, but I did bite it and instantly recognize it as a soft styrofoam. Yeah. Yep. What else you got for us, Jake? Remember right. when I said that sometimes uh, a really good bit only lasts for like <laughs> yeah. three minutes? All right. Um, my, my bits will last. So this is a... I'm going to switch to that camera over by you again. This is from Milano Bakery. It's not dog food, I promise. Uh, it's not. That you have to say that. <laughs> no one knows why you just said that. <laughs> What well, you do, it's not. Okay, uh, so we got these. Little crumpet thingies. I forget, they call these thumbprints. Okay, yeah, I've had a, I've had thumbprint cookies mm -hmm. before. Hasn't I think Heather's, Heather's made thumbprint. Yeah. Heather, have you ever made thumbprint cookies? No. Heather. No, she said no. Heather, have you ever stuck your thumb in our cookies? <laughs> All right, so these, uh, these are, I assume are Rich, pretty good. Rich is playing Counter-Strike. Yeah. It's very crumbly. Mm-hmm. It's good, though. Mm-hmm. Oh, Some yeah. kind of jam in the center. Mm-hmm. I think, like, strawberry on mine. You ever watch a uh, Great British Bacon show? No. It's good. <laughs> I don't have anything else to say. It's just, like, <laughs> it's good. Everything is edible. Now we're just eating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was uh, number two. Just something, I like to bring something good from Milano's. It's on the way up here. Uh, Milano's Bakery. I'll mm -hmm. get my check in the mail. Mm. That's good. Uh, my mom says I make them, Ron. There you go. Well, she said I make them son. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, make a son. son. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You got anything else for us, Jake? You know I do. Are those Stroop Waffles? Yep. Fuck yeah, are those Stroop Waffles. We discussed Stroop Waffle last week, didn't we? I don't know. So these are Stroop Waffle. They're from um, like Belgium? Pull them up to the camera again. No. Yeah, I've picked these up at the grocery store before. They're in like the foreign food section. I think they're from... Uh, well, these are tiny boys. Holland? Yeah. I swallowed when I talked. They're from Holland. Very good. Basically, they're... Holland, Ohio. Yeah, Holland, mm -hmm. Ohio. Ooh. No, they're... Uh, they're from the Netherlands, but they're mm -hmm. waffles, really thin waffle wafers with caramel in the middle. They also come in chocolate, and the chocolate are pretty badass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are little boys, too. Uh -huh. so the ones I have are, like, a lot bigger than this. Not like a lot bigger, but way bigger. It was a lot chewier. I expected it to be more crispy. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, this is this is what I expect. Very good. Yeah. 
All right, I got one more thing. <clears throat> this segment, by the way, is called Shit I Bought on the Way to Ron's House. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now, there is a photo of a dog on the front of that one. It's an elephant and a cat. Bhutan okay. rice candy, huh? Bhutan? Bhutanese oh, no. passport? Bhutanese <laughs> passport. So it came with a stick? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stick that on the computer right there. Which, there you go. Yeah, show the camera. It's an elephant. Um, so this is right. I can't candy. show the camera. You're closest to the camera. I, well, actually, I, was like, I wanted you to see Ron. <laughs> I didn't know. I it's was, a little elephant. I wanted oh, to, it's green. I, it doesn't. I wanted to get. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks like curtain. <laughs> uh, I wanted uh, to get a candy that you guys hadn't tried. But I was kind of like, well, I don't know, because a lot of the stuff they had at Five Below was like uh, Japan or Japanese candy, and I know you guys did like Japan great <coughs> for a while. Oh yeah. What? What are these called again? Each Rice? candy has an edible inner wrapper that yeah, melts I was in your mouth. Ask. Came with a free sticker, which so is so we wait, we can eat the wrapper. Yeah, there's like that, not the pla yeah, there's like that a... one. No, like this one we can eat. Yep. Okay. Uh, it has okay. corn syrup. Just because it's edible doesn't mean it tastes good. Sugar, water, glutinose. Yeah. Right, so flour. three different kinds of sugar. Yeah. <laughs> Wafer paper. Yep. That's what we're eating. <laughs> Sweet potato starch. Sugar again. <laughs> Rapeseed oil. Soy, something. Sauce. Soy lechon. And natural flavor. Ooh, this is super sweet. Red number 40. Oh, God. This hurts my teeth. Oh, it's soft. I expected it to be a hard candy. All right, I'm digging in. What are people saying about this? No. Nobody's saying anything because they can't taste it with us. Mm hmm Y'all should have bought If you have sensitive teeth, stay away from these. Oh, yeah, they're, that is weird, huh? It's, like, soft. I really expected it to be a hard candy. Yeah, at first you taste nothing because of the it's rice the paper. paper. I still don't taste anything. Mm. It's not the same texture as like a like a laffy taffy. The closest thing I can pair it with taste wise is like normal licorice. Mm hmm. Like not flavored licorice. It's not mm -hmm. great. Yeah. <laughs> Maddie and your mom are talking shit about you. Why is that? Lay it out. Who could know? If you got a problem with my show, just fucking say so. Oh, damn. She just had to yawn. Your own mom. Hmm. This is a taste testing part of the show. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We're not so, being very descriptive uh, about the taste. <laughs> it's just, so, uh, um, I don't know. It's just kind of sweet. Yeah. On Botan rice candy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's throw, like a middle throw it to the lions in the so, gladiator cage. It's like sticking to my teeth now. I'm sure some people would love it. Just like some people Sprites. love like ribbon candy. Is that the little dots that come on the paper? It's got a cute cat on it. Oh. Your friends, uh, Richie says, my friends want a segment on your show. Sure, you can have a segment on my show. As soon as you come here. Or you can call in at the call-in section, which we're not at yet. I'll give Heather the box. She'll like that. It's cute. Yeah, she's probably, <laughs> <laughs> she's probably like, that's nice. <laughs> Harley. Yeah. Jake, before I go to Harley, mm -hmm. got anything else for us? Oh, my God. No, no, no. I'll right. say he's leaning over again. Harley. Yeah. Now that we finally got some people watching the show, currently we're sitting at 10 viewers. Yeah. Uh, I can see that um, Frappacholo's in the chat, my, my brother's friend Matt. Mm -hmm. Is it time to, to drive him out? Yeah, he hates, uh, he absolutely despises K-pop. Okay. And he said we he would We can work leave. with that. But before we, before we get into the K-pop, why don't we do the other thing? Yeah. Let's do the other thing first. Absolutely. So what do we do? Do we only want to go through the first round today? 
what are we doing exactly? Because you didn't sell, tell me what we're doing. So we should do what what the those men did, and we should just do the first. It, it looks like you've already filled out all of it. No, no, no. Like the first, only everything to the extreme left. Uh, this came pre-filled out, but that's a lot of stuff. Plus, we already did a lot of it. Yeah. I don't want to do it all again. We could speed round it. Unless we argue about it. <laughs> See, we could do we could do what they did and just... I would be interested in, in doing Enforce the, like a rule of majority. I, I would be interested in doing the sides and the chicken and beef. Yeah. The chicken and burger section. Okay. Are you down for that? Yeah. All right, guys. Um, <laughs> we're going to kick it over to a segment uh, that we're directly ripping off of... The Doughboys. The Doughboys. Is there any way to start our own bracket? I don't, I don't know. Uh, hmm. I don't think so, but we can just talk. I bet this is theirs. <laughs> yeah, it probably is. I don't know where you got it from, but so let's uh, let's start at the top here. We're gonna start ranking. The Doughboys ripped me off. Yeah. Let's start there. Yeah. Really quick, Doughboys, popular podcast. Mm -hmm. They make a living off this podcast. Yeah. I mean, at least partially. Mm -hmm. They fucking ripped me off. Two weeks ago, we did a breakfast sandwich segment. Jake was there. Yeah, and it was a tournament. <laughs> and it was a tournament bracket using this website. Yeah. And then, lo and behold. And then, this week, Munch Doughboys released Munch Madness, a tournament bracket of all the McDonald's menu, the whole menu. Now the difference is that they did eat every single thing on the menu. Yeah. I have not done that. There's some things on here that I've never had before. I've probably hit a good 80 to 90% of everything on this menu. Uh, so let's let's look at, this is the, right now it's filled out with their choices. Yeah. We're gonna do our own choices. Yeah, so how about we ignore the first round? Or, or we can like, we could review the choices they made and disagree with them if we want. Yeah, let's let's do that. Yeah. Uh, first round, number one, Big Mac versus Artisan Grilled Chicken Sandwich. I think they Big made the Mac. correct yeah, choice. Yeah, that was the right choice, Big Mac. Mm. Uh, number McDouble two, versus McDouble versus Double, double cheeseburger. cheeseburger. That's double like the same shit. All day. The only double difference is one slice of cheese. And it makes a big difference. Well, so, do you like the extra slice of cheese? Yeah. You do? So the double so cheeseburger yeah. wins to me. So I have a nostalgia of the McDouble because way back in the day, the double cheeseburger was a dollar on their menu. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, it's too expensive. No, it's we're, too cheap. No, they're like, we're going to, or yeah, too cheap. We're going to, we're going to raise the price and introduce a new menu item called the McDouble, which is the same thing with one less slice of cheese. And that's our new dollar menu item. Mm -hmm. And it was a revelation so good well no they just ripped you off <laughs> i mean it i like the ratio of cheese though to me oh, okay. yeah see i i, don't I, I feel like a king when i'm eating that double cheeseburger i don't know see i like a mcdouble i i'm a cheese guy though like i'll i'll even go to five guys and get extra cheese mm. on my sandwich and they already do two slices yeah. what, what do you feel about this ron two meat and two cheese or two meat and one cheese i think two meat two cheese okay i usually get the double so you, cheese you agree with the, those men yeah yeah i think they made the right call now the next option here two cheeseburgers versus one cheeseburger i'll tell you what two cheeseburger meal that's like my go-to now yeah it's like, cheese, that's like the I, thing I get. Two I like. double cheese is what I get. No, no. The, I'm, I'm talking about the combo. There's a combo meal. Yeah. Two is... The two cheeseburger meal. Mm. Yeah. That's what I get. Two yeah. cheeseburger meal. That's that's my go-to. Yeah. So I say two cheeseburgers better than one I mean, one it has to be, right? Yeah. Somebody came up to me and was like, you want one or two cheeseburgers? Yeah. Well, two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want four, but give me two. Now, this next choice they made, I vehemently disagree with. McChicken versus filet of fish. You're yeah. talking about this one. McChicken. Yeah. Now, I I think filet of fish all the way. Yeah. I really like the filet of fish. Maybe I, it's because I was raised Catholic. I think it's I just, good. I just like a filet of fish sandwich. I think it's better than their McChicken. I, I'll say this. I need to be in the mood for the filet of fish. I I don't need to for the McChicken. I can kind of smash. I it think the I'm McChicken never, is. I'm never in a McChicken. The McChicken <laughs> is deeply overrated. It's a dollar. My so that's why. I, I would honestly down say the McChicken is bad. <laughs> I don't think the McChicken is very good. Yeah. I don't think it's bad. 
I think they need to revamp their chicken offerings at McDonald's. I th they need to go back to the drawing board. They need to get better chicken. They need to get thicker patties. You think just sa new sandwich wise, though? Honestly, the nuggets could could improve too. And the the chicken tenders, like, are not great. Honestly. Yeah, yeah going back as an adult, mm, the nuggets. Actually, I, I'll say though, I don't like most chicken nuggets now as an yeah. adult. Well. You I did. Go to, you gotta go to Wendy's more. I did in my early twenties, but Wendy's now. Wendy's has good spicy nuggets. Yeah, they mm. do. They do. Uh, okay, next on the list here: quarter pounder with cheese versus hamburger. Yeah, QPC is a staple food. I I think quarter pounder with cheese. That's like my double yeah. quarter pounder with cheese is my second go-to item. Mm, double. That's what it is, right? Yeah. Or no, no, that's this, the single quarter pounder. Oh, okay. My bad. I'm looking at. You're looking looking ahead. Yeah. Is quarter pounder with cheese on here twice? No, there's a double. Uh, the that one is that you're looking at is with bacon, I think. Look, quarter pounder with cheese, double. Uh, this is what I was looking at, double quarter. But then down here, oh, is it double quarter pounder with cheese and bacon? Deluxe. Deluxe. My bad. Yeah. My fault, everybody. My fault. It's every menu item. Uh, okay, quarter pounder with cheese versus hamburger. Quarter pounder with cheese is Heather's go-to. Yeah. That's what Heather loves. It's obviously my go-to Hamburger? As well. Fuck it. I don't care. Yeah. I could give a shit. Yeah. Hey, Karen, I can be the son you never had. <laughs> That's fine. What? She has two sons. <laughs> she said I'm her hero. All nuggets suck. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, QBC, good, good stuff. Uh, next round, double quarter pounder with cheese versus quarter pounder with cheese and bacon. Double quarter pounder with cheese is my secondary go-to. Yeah, I think McDonald's missed the boat with yeah. their bacon. Mm. It's uh, nothing compared to Wendy's. I've never had it with bacon, and I don't care to. Yeah. So. I, I, I think yeah. I will not litigate yet again my theory of hamburgers. Mm -hmm. Less is more with hamburgers. Yeah. Okay. I don't need yeah. bacon on my burger every time. Yeah, I agree. Uh. Next here, 20 piece nugget versus quarter pounder with cheese deluxe. I think that's lettuce and tomato. Let me finish a thought super quick. Fuck a lettuce and tomato. Yeah, I, yeah fuck a lettuce and tomato. That's I'm in six, my so. realm of things. I will say, lettuce and tomato on my realm of suitable hamburger toppings. Yeah. But not at McDonald's. Yeah. yeah. Just give me the regular QPC. Yeah. That's all I. That's I, all I need. I want to say real quick about bacon on sandwiches. I think the important thing is, is that it's good bacon, and most like fast mm -hmm. food places aren't doing that. Yeah. Even even Wendy's sometimes. I'll is take like Wendy's and I'll take and rallies, great. and that's about it. Yeah. But. Uh, okay. Um, so. 20 piece nugget versus quarter pounder cheese deluxe. I I'd say 20 piece nugget. They yeah, made the right choice. I agree. Uh, I will say that most of the time when I'm at McDonald's, I am getting an order of nuggets. Usually a 10-piece. Mm, interesting. Yeah. Uh, last one in the in the burgers and chicken category is six-piece chicken McNugget versus buttermilk crispy chicken sandwich. I don't like that sandwich. Don't care. Yeah. I don't care for... I would go with the, the McNugget. I don't yeah. give a shit about a I will tell you straight up, though, nugget. for the longest time, a four-piece chicken nugget was $1.00. And a six piece was like unproportionately more expensive. It was like two fifty. And I used to think that was the stupidest shit. Mm. So but yeah, I would say the six piece chicken nugget. I think it's like a under two dollars now. All right. I, I actually don't think they do the four piece regular outside of a kid's meal anymore. I think we're gonna skip ahead. We're gonna skip drinks. We're gonna skip breakfast because that's been litigated to death. Yeah. We're gonna go to sides. Some of us don't agree, don't agree with the choices made, but I I yeah I mean look that's for another day I guess. We weren't here, so uh, okay. fries versus side salad. Obviously it's fries, right? Yeah. Who the fuck is ordering a salad? My for wife, girl? but yeah. fries. And there's a reason that that side salad is seated so low, <laughs> because I think it barely made this bracket. Uh, ham Happy Meal with McNuggets versus Happy Meal with hamburger. I'd say hamburger. That, yeah. that would be what I would choose. Yeah. I, I, I like the simplicity of a hamburger. I've spent thousands of dollars on a Happy Meal with chicken nuggets. So I, I will tell you up and down the board, kids prefer McNuggets. Yeah. Well, we're, we're men. 
Well, yeah, but you have, mm-hmm. how many Happy Meals do you order? When I was a kid, I preferred the hamburger. Yeah, I think so, too. I didn't get into <sighs> McDonald's Chicken McNuggets until I was already a man. I think it was a 1A, 1B <laughs> situation for me. <laughs> Uh, next on the list, apple pie versus chocolate chip cookie. I don't care. I don't get either. Apple pie is good. And, like, all their other pie offerings are pretty good, too, honestly. Like, they do, like, a pumpkin pie, and they do, like, a, like, a, like, a custard pie. They're all, they're all better than they should be, honestly. Um, okay, next one on here, uh, vanilla cone versus caramel sundae. Again, don't do desserts. So. Yeah, there's, I like their sundaes, honestly. So, I would have yeah. went with the caramel sundae on that. Yeah, okay. Eminem McVert Flurry versus Apple Slices. Honestly, I like a good apple slice. I think I that Eminem McFlurry is a shit though. Yeah, I was saying I'm gonna go with the. McFlurry. I can I can never eat all of one, but it's pretty good. Their their ice cream is very good. That's why a lot of people like it and are pissed off that it's down all the time. Yeah. Hot fudge Sunday versus Oreo McFlurry. I love that hot fudge Sunday of theirs. Honestly, yeah. the nice thing about their Sunday is it comes in a cup. So it's like, unlike a cone, if you're going through the drive-thru, a cone, you have to commit to a cone. Yeah, you have you have signed a, a, <laughs> a, a deal. Warrant. You've signed a, a contract as soon as you get handed a cone. <laughs> yeah. And you have so much time to finish it With or, else, or else pay the price. Yeah. And the Sunday. When you have a cup, that's yeah. not the that's not The, the cup case. and a lid, too. So it's yeah. like that's a portable. Yeah, they give ice it to you contained. Option. It fits in your cup holder too. Yeah, I mean it's a little little, but yeah. Next one on here: four piece McNugget versus strawberry sundae. I would go with the McNuggets. Yeah, I think so. Next one: hash brown versus buttermilk tenders. I love a hash brown. Their hash browns are very yeah. good. I I used to be a hash brown denier, wow. and then I don't know. Sometime in the last like five six years, like. My internal wiring was reversed, and now I love their hash browns. Have you always been able to get those at all times? I don't know. I know you can now. Oh, you can? Yeah, it's yeah. part of their breakfast. All, like, it's one of their limited breakfast items that are 24 hours now. They, I think they had parfait on here, but it might have been in the breakfast section. It, yeah, People I People in the chat is. talking about the parfait. I think it is. I've never had it. It's not something I, I have. go for. It's whatever. Okay, so that was their round one. Maybe we'll check in with this next week. Um, yeah. Yeah, I was saying, do we want to do the bracket or do we just want to critique their bracket? Oh, do we want to go through and do round two and how, then see how, how it about, adds up? Or we, could, or we could do this again next week where we just tear them down for their choices. Yeah, I think let's do that. Okay. So we'll check in next week after their podcast. Yeah. It's the Doughboys. Um, and, and we'll critique them. We'll see how they, how they did. See, we would have went through this whole thing if it was. Yeah. Our... I'm gonna make my prediction right now. I bet Fries takes it. Really? Yeah. See, I don't think they have the best fries in the business. They say they I, do. I think they do, though. Mm. I think they do. I think the fries takes it. And you know what? As I say, I don't think I can name a better fries. So I was lying. <laughs> okay. Rallies? Uh, I don't know. You gotta, I don't like seasoned fries. You gotta be in a oh, mood for rallies if, even if you like. You them. gotta be thinking rallies. I Even will that's order. Arby's. I will order seasoned fries and ask them to be unseasoned. All right, folks. It's, is that uh, good having the show with you? So you can <laughs> end it. <laughs> Sounds like uh, something a nuisance does. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, Sounds I, like you're asking them to lick the seasoning off. <laughs> No, can mm-hmm. you can you unseason that? Maybe no, 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 no. Because they they got to season no, the fry. No, they don't. Especially rallies. They do too. Got to season the no, fry. No, they come like that. Well, then and they would yeah, just they... tell me no. They would just be like no. All right. Well, well, you should minimize this first. Why? Well, I have a. So I was gonna talk, and then I was gonna be like, Ron, show the screen. Okay. Well, you can so, still do that because it's okay. you're. So, if all right. You look so at I just need you. Side here, You'll see that we're not looking. So I just need you to pretend you don't see what's going on on the screen right now. And can we get this camera active? Yeah. I want to speak to my people. All right. Hold on. Three, two, one. There it goes. Okay. Uh, Leaning way forward. Pop in all the joints. You're good. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, uh, I want to talk to you today. Um, as we all know... There's been you got a good. There's, we've been talking about voting a lot in this country this week, and for good reason. We have to make a choice. Um, right now, it's you know, 
democracy or death. We had we have a couple of you know we we have two two people to choose from basically right now. Hey, Ron. After we after we had some juggernauts drop out of the race this week. Of course, what I'm talking about, I'm talking about this next week's M countdown to determine the winner of their show. Ron, can you go to the screen? So, do I click on a link here? Uh, no, just uh, make it bigger so people can see. Okay. Bigger, bigger. This works. So as we can see here, M wave. Luna, they are, this is Luna's last week of promotions for their new comeback. Somebody banned my mom. Somebody did Heather her. banned Karen? Heather? So we had a couple of uh, big names drop out of the race this week. BTS, stop promoting. Um, Eyes One, can't promote on this show. G Friend, stop promoting. So this is Luna's last opportunity to come out with a win. As we can see here, we are leading the vote in the Korean charts, 49% to 46%. That's so narrow. We're losing the Japanese vote, 54 to 43. So what I'm asking everyone right now, please download a VPN, a Japanese VPN, go to the Japanese Mnet Countdown website and vote for Luna. Uh, we are rocking the international vote. I love that, but it is not winner takes all. If we can increase that margin, It'll be better. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. Great. It's, it's democracy or barbarism, folks. All right, your time is it's over. It's lunaism or barbarism. Your time is over. Yeah. That was your fucking K-pop minute. Yeah. Well, I got some songs I want to show you, too. Okay. Yeah. You understand that I'm just not going to like them again. You might. See, I won't like them again. See what I, I won't like the songs. See, I think this is a bit. No, it's not. I genuinely don't like K-pop. See, I think you do, bit, but but it's it's a bit. Jake, can I have another beer? Yeah. Oh, you got more beer? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Harley's like, we can't. Why is he looking at the floor? I'm looking at the floor because I'm reading the chat. Why do you keep asking that? I'm trying to figure out what the fuck you're talking about. Why is Ron looking at the floor? Why is Ron looking at the floor? <laughs> yeah, that's Why what, is Ron looking at the floor? That's what you sound like. Whoever Chug said that. My <laughs> Corona. All right. What am I searching? Uh, we're going to go uh, with Luna's Let's debut song. Hey, look, Jake, I did it. Oh, good job. Yeah. Uh, Luna High High. The first high is like hello high and the next one is like highs in verticality yeah that should do it so this is going to be i'm going to call this lore week because i'm going to show you luna's most lore heavy video and it's it's going to be like dark souls in the sense that they don't throw it in your face you got to look for it and the next song i want to show you they just vomit lore at you for like the first two minutes of the song it's amazing but yeah, this is Luna's High High. This is their debut from August 2018. You ready, Jake? I'm. I was born ready. Well, someone was ready. Would be okay. I actually have a <laughs> Heather, watch right now. Catch all those haven't, haven't we fucking watched this video before? Did we? I've shown you so what. Did we watch this? Chat, did we watch this? I don't think so. Not that I've seen. Is it just that all of these videos seem exactly that the same? Be. I mean, they're very different videos, honestly. <laughs> Now here's a challenge for you, Ron. Can you tell who's who? No. Can you even try? Nope. Who's that? Kim Lip. Nope. Close, that's Kim Lip. Who's that? Who's that? Egypt. Can yeah, you name him? That was Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know. 
three names. Can you easily name them all? Oh, yeah. Like, I'm saying by, like, recognize them all? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Okay, I'm, here's what I'm going to say, all right? This is substanceless. It has no meaning. Really? Because, yes. look, Odd Eye Circle is convincing Olivia to leave Eden right now. You don't even, you didn't even catch that. Look, now Olivia is gonna decide, jump into a dry pool. deciding whether she wants to join <laughs> the rest of YY Are by Y in the Earth realm. So which corporation decided this plot line for them? Um, Exxon Mobil. Ilkwan Group? Sure, it's not. It's an arms manufacturer that owns Linda's parent company. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> yeah. I, was say, I was literally about to say Raytheon. I was looking like, is <laughs> they, it Ra- Raytheon? They, they are owned by the Korean Raytheon, basically. <sighs> Harley. <laughs> this shit is problematic. <clears throat> it won't be problematic when they turn their guns on the Empire around. Your mom. <laughs> Hold on, Jake. I know coming. My mom says it's kitty. <laughs> They're all adults. Well. No, they weren't at uh, this time. Okay. But also, it's not porn. They'll be weird. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to jail watching this. Like that? I don't need to see that. I think you were like reading into it. I'm not like. reading anything. They're showing up their skirts and their asses. They're showing the asses. <laughs> we'll put that in the tags, folks. They're showing so, uh, their asses. Luna has united as a group and now they are flying high. I wonder how they did that. Uh, I think it's like a green screen and like a, a, a cable. stairway. Says <laughs> I think it's a ca- I was a cable. All right, you got one more. Make yep. it count. What are we looking at? Uh, Exo Mama. M-A-M-A. Heather, you're going to want to watch this part. I don't know that Heather's even out there. This so I should shout louder. This one? I'm not showing this fucking ad. At Obengi, we believe I'm gonna, that you're going to hear it, though. I'm muting it. All right, so <laughs> this is, this is going to be dumb. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, now it's gonna be dumb. But I like the song, and like I thought the first two minutes of this is hilarious. So what did you experience? It's six it? minutes. Come on, man. <laughs> Stop after two. No, because that's when the good stuff happens. Oh my God, we're not. Gonna, nobody's gonna watch this show ever again. What in the fuck <laughs> is going on? <laughs> Your mom! <laughs> what about mom? No, it's hardly a perv. Probably. Probably. This is Dark Souls. He's a good boy. And create two sons that look alike. This, this honestly feels like Avatar shit. <laughs> like the last airbender? Yeah. The legend shall now see the same sky, but just stand on different you see what I mean about like the different methods of storytelling? Yeah, <laughs> though, it's this like... is literally just how how far can I skip to get to the actual? Um, just I would say just hit right on your keyboard a bunch of times until we start hearing music. My God! All right, here we are. These are real looking people. EXO is the name of this band. Yeah, this is actually their debut as well, but this is from 2012. Maddie, are you in chat still? We are fascinated by the porn, my mom says. Maddie's extremely busy trying to convince Ron's mom you're not a perv. Genie is the music service for smartphone. The new world music Genie, XOK. Yeah, they put a lot of, like, native ads into their music videos early on. What's he got, little tiny Wolverine claws? Probably, man. Their their whole shtick is supposed to be that they have, like, superpowers. (laughs) And they're all from different planets or something. Which we'd have known if we paid attention, but that shit is like so funny. It's bad. So this is XOK. Oh, 
got fucking rings on this AXO. I have. I don't like that they add the sound effects into this song. Can we watch the lesbian porn again? <laughs> Who says <laughs> that? Coral Snake. We can always watch the lesbian porn. Will we? Sounds <laughs> like we're getting some requests for Luna in the chat. <laughs> Harley will take it when he can get it. I don't like this song. You don't like the weird, like, gothic chanting? <laughs> I just, I don't like the, I don't, okay. I don't know. No, thank you. Troop waffle. It's troop waffle for your it's, thoughts. It's, it's, it's just very, I don't know, there's nothing fancy about this song. It seems old. How old is this? It is eight years old. Yeah. So it was like March 2012. Yeah. Man, we are just plump viewers plummeting. <laughs> Viewer count plummeting during this section. We're down what seven? Down to seven viewers. It still feels like it's up. Not from earlier, but from like yeah, it's, in general. It's it's up from <laughs> fucking. We had thirteen at one point. Half the viewers are gone. This guy's hair sucks. Does that guy yeah. have a new song? Might have honestly. In their, in their latest music video, they're wearing, like, straight jackets. I can give you a general tip for life, and it's, don't wear a noose. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's fashionable, but you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> it's probably because K-pop sucks booty. I don't disagree with you. I do. I have a lot of problems with K-pop. Not even in the sexy way. Is there a sexy way? <laughs> oh my god. This guy with the crimped hair. I like that you're talking about the hair and not his face. I know, face. his face looks ridiculous, but... Also, I have no idea why this song is called Mama. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of them now. Yeah. So yeah, this is XOK. So the song is only six people, and I guess at the end, they bring an XOM for the dance part. Fire. He, he says just he says like just call me bacon. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> My name's Jacob, but just call me bacon. <laughs> Jacob. I'd be good. My mom here. says that this is Korean kiss. Uh maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the music is just as good. <laughs> This part is so weird. Ron, when here's, are you going to get your problem. mom on the Look, show? Look, here's the reason why I don't really like K-pop. is Because I, I, I'm i going to get into it, all right? I'm gonna just going to get into it. You are going to get into K-pop. No, I'm going to get into why I don't really like K-pop. Number one, I think it's overproduced. Like, all of the fucking weird special effects. Is there any songs that they release that don't have a music video? Oh, yeah. Okay, because I've never heard... Is that what we're going to get into next week? <laughs> songs that don't have a music video? Yeah. No, but every song you've showed me is a music video. Yeah, it's because we can barely hear it, so we need the video. There's got to be visual. Once we get lav mics going, then I can show you some music-only stuff. It's overproduced. Yeah. It's overproduced, is, is my thing. It's just too overproduced, much. Overproduced, that seems like such a... Like, where, where's the arbitrary line you're drawing? I, you, much like pornography, I know it when I see it. Okay. Okay? And when I look at it, I'm like... This was made by a committee. This was not made by an artist. Or even Are you talking uh, about the music video or the song? Both. Yeah, the music video is very overproduced. Yeah, that mostly when I say that I'm talking about the music video. Yeah. But the music also. It doesn't seem like it's a product of an artist. It seems like it's a product of an algorithm. So a bunch of guys in suits smoking cigars. So like talking about like we gotta get to the moon and the she's from 
a different dimension. And so what I'm hearing is you want to start hearing some self-produced artists, because there are plenty of that in K-pop. We're talking. You know what I want to see? We're talking is, Seventeen. We're I, talking Pentagon. I want to see. I want to see music from Korea that is a response to K-pop. I want to see the underground fucking the people who are like fuck k-pop i make music and like, it's got to be the, it's got to be the complete fucking opposite so like of it losers. so it's like it's like complete dirt trash sounding horrible produ production fucking but it has soul okay that's what i want to oh see oh my god there's plenty of soul in k-pop right? no there's not so you you're want k-pop r&b these are people that I are think literally you're farming. asking for like k-pop contrary you're like asking for like they're, these people who's are the, they do, grow up in a farm for K pop stars. He, the, wants, he wants North Korea. Pop. Who's the uh, dude <laughs> from Smashing Pumpkins? That uh, everyone uh, Billy Corbin. You're, Billy Corbin? Corgan. Corgan? You're asking for the Korean Billy Corgan right now. I hope you know. No, that. I'm not. I'm You're, asking. I I'm want asking a for grumpy the, old man I who want, hates K pop. No, I <laughs> want the Korean dead Kennedys. That's what I want. Is I want the people who are like, fuck my Sharona. That shit sucks. So, Red Velvet. No. Yes, they have a song critiquing the whole industry. <sighs> and we'll play it next week. <sighs> Maybe, if I remember. I just, I don't, all right. Play that one for me next week. Think about it. Play that song for me. Actually, I was thinking about showing you some soloists next week. Show me somebody who's an artist. I want somebody who's an artist. I don't want a K-pop, a, a group. I don't want a K-popist. Mm -hmm. I want an artist, somebody who writes their okay. own songs. Oh yeah, yeah. S somebody who ha has a vision for what their music is gonna be. I want that. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna get that. <laughs> Again, I think this is all. Good. <sighs> oh man. Uh, Bob sends me to says corona. to look up Psy because apparently Psy is anti K-pop. Sai is actually Psy? like Sai is like actually like anti-America too, which rules. Yeah. He has songs that are like <laughs> "fuck, fuck these occupiers" stuff like that. I'm gonna go watch murder shows. <laughs> <laughs> Love you too, mom. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sitting through the K-pop. Well, did she? <laughs> Guys, I wanted to play Devil Daggers. Ooh, what's that? Shall we watch it? Sure. Whoa! Mm -hmm. I just dragged us. Control Z. <laughs> Control Z. Control Z. We're good. Yeah, I'm used to being dragged on this show. All right, mm. tell me about it. This is a game that uses a mouse, so I'm gonna regret this, but I'm gonna try and like lean way forward. All right, so Devil Daggers is like a run-based game. Mm. Something of a roguelike. It's like a first-person shooter. Ooh. When I pick up this knife, that's when the shit begins. So I shoot these knives. I If I get touched, I'm dead. You guys have to talk while I do this. How do you know, like, um, the directionality of your enemies? I like, could you get snuck up on very easily? Yeah. So you gotta always be kind of strafing. The, the, the way that it works is, uh, it's predetermined. So, like, the round, the waves are always exactly the same. They come in the same order from the same direction. Is there a story to this? Nah, man. What are you? Fucking are you in hell? These double baggies. Are you faster than those heads? Can you just pull back up? Oh, you got the deck. Are there barriers to this arena? I Do don't... Do you not want to keep backing up forever, basically? You got a new high score. Oh, are they like spawning skills? Yeah. Oh! New high score. Been had. <laughs> did, the game, did the game just crash? No. 
All right, I lasted 73 seconds. Hey, Ron, uh, should we show the audience what we're doing? Would that be cool? Either? Oh, fuck. My bad, my bad. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ, the, why the does anybody watch the, this show? The K-pop drives it away. <laughs> oh fuck, I need to update this. Next time I die, remind me, I need to update this thing. Let's just say that we're playing Devil Daggers. Oh! Man! I'm doing that now. What's up, Jake? Looks like you're playing Devil Dagger. Yeah. I am. I did good pee, if you're wondering. Ooh, I might go join ya. <laughs> well, you can go do it too. Cool, man. I'm not going back. Oh, okay. So, yeah, is there like a barrier to the arena? I, you want me to test it and find out? Yeah. Although I imagine, like, <laughs> and I also imagine you wouldn't want to get too far away from those towers anyways, because they're just going to keep shitting out units. I like the sound effect of the daggers coming out. It's very, like, <laughs> I can't believe it's too fast. Oh. This feels like a game that would be a lot better with a better mouse. That first run was really good, and it was not. Nobody saw it. Yeah. Do you think this is like a, Sis a Sisyphian? Like, like is this hell for someone? Yeah. Do you uh, play this with control? What does that red thing do? It's like a. I think once you get a certain number of them, it upgrades your shots for a brief period of time. If I remember correctly, timing when you get that is like really important. They run at you if they play faster. What if we ever say that side of the game? I don't know. But you did say, okay, Google. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Uh, how long was that? 63. No, 54 seconds. said there was an issue with the sound, but I think we're good. Yeah, I think so. Behind you. 
it. I was taking too long to look around. Everything. Yeah. I saw a video of, uh, is it Isabel? The little yeah. dog lady? Yeah. Like, Doom Guy is showing her how to shoot a shotgun, and she, like, shoots the shotgun and gets, like, blown on the back. Ooh. I didn't like that. Seventy-two seconds, one off, one second less than my record. Yeah, you really came out hot on this. <laughs> I did warm up before the show started. Spent all morning playing. Uh, is this an older game? Or? No, it, well, I mean, relatively, it's like probably from like. But not, like, this isn't like a, a DOS game. No. <laughs> Probably be like the fucking craziest DOS game that ever came Although it, it kind of like seems like it, pur it purposefully has that vibe on it. Right. Yeah, it's got a real Doom, uh, Hexen, fucking blood. <laughs> I think there's a, is there like a, for some reason I thought there was like a shot. No. Hmm. What is the green boy? I think he's like, I think he's like the first big, like, Hard to kill enemy that shows up. Should you prioritize those gems? Or? Probably. <laughs> Who, who's 75 seconds? Who's Werbin? I don't know. Somebody on my friends list, I guess. The new fat man is a little bit above you. You got 
brand new record. Oh yeah, it's so, long. 75 seconds. Sisyphean torture. It doesn't end, right? Uh, I think it does. Really? But it, I mean, this is the whole game, so it's probably not easy. Get those gem rolls. That's where we're gonna call Apparently, while Ron does this, mm -hmm. I started talking to Ron about what do you think about stores like Dollar Tree and Five Below that want to start selling things for more than one in five hours? Um, I think they already do that. So Dollar Tree does not. Dollar Tree in Canada is a dollar twenty-five, but in the United States has always been one dollar for everything in the. Or <laughs> not for everything, but mm. everything in the store is a dollar or less. But they've talked about wanting to make it more. Same thing with like Arizona tea. Uh, I guess more so though with like Dollar Tree and Five Below. I feel like like just stick to things that are under five dollars. I get it with Dollar Tree. You, like it's hard to yeah. Let's say see their above. their inventory is gonna get smaller if they do that because. What? The cost of stuff is gonna go up. Yeah. But for five below, it's like you got, you still got room. You guys have all sorts of stuff. I wanted they, to talk to Karen, but I couldn't figure out my Twitch password fast enough. You? Who said that? Fair kid, fifteen. What do you want to talk to my mom about? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna try. Karen said she'll be on the show. She did. Yeah, I oh. said Karen, we gotta get you on the show, and she said deal. Oh. oh, yeah, we can do that. Do what? Do it. Harley, Harley, you're going to have to act like you're shooting. You're sitting in front of the player, so... Oh, it's me now. The player is just a hand. Yeah, what we're... Is that good? Is that good video? It's like you're rubbing <laughs> my hand. Oh, God. You want me to act like I'm there, too? <laughs> Oh, that's probably too loud. That's probably not sonically pleasing. <laughs> pleasing to Sonic, maybe. Honestly, Thank I feel you. like I don't want to go into dollar stores. Or I can do this, like... <laughs> I gotta kill it. <laughs> I just feel like I don't I don't have like an, an affinity for dollar stores. I don't like to go in them. See that delicious candy we ate? Uh, that was from Five Below. Yeah. Which is weird, right? Because it is kind of a dollar store. Five Below has I would say like a can't do that. A weird niche because it's Rich McConnell. Yeah, because they don't. They don't. I don't uh, being a shotgun. They don't sell oh, anything you need. <laughs> they only sell things like most of their shits like novelty. It's like some candy and stuff and like toys and maybe some makeup stuff. But it's never like, oh, I'm gonna go there and get a thing of toilet paper. They just don't got it. So nope. Shit for your room, like a rug that's five dollars and shitty. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but uh, catch coronavirus from the rug. Right. So, what do you think is better? Do you think the shotgun is on I think the shotgun is good for the Whoa. mobs. And the, oh, I ran oh, right man. into that guy. And like the steady stream is good for like taking on the towers. Because it seemed like. 
shotgunning was not working against the tower very well. Okay. That was a fluke. I feel like if it was true life, it was like a guaranteed kill. I think it'd be better. So, I think I think my beef with Five Below is like I found it as a five dollar and below store. And their name is literally Five Below and they're gonna try and change it to one to five and five to ten. What does that even mean? Just say I mean, under I, ten dollars. I just feel like with inflation, you know. I, I get it's, like it's a business model that couldn't last. Right, right. I think that's what it. I feel like the, the, like don't keep calling yourself Five Below. Come up with a new name that doesn't limit you to the times. Like it's good against those skull guys. Like cheapies. Make close cheapies. What do you think, Ron? Come up with a name for Five Below to use. That's not gonna be limiting to them. Sean, no, I need his answer now. <laughs> that was pretty good. Whew. That was like harrowing. Too... Yeah. It was just too much. I gotta kill those spawners faster. What do you think, bro? Hurry I think a good spent. name. You want me to come with a good name? Yeah, a good name yeah, for five below that's not gonna limit them as inflation. Dirty but cheap, because that's, <laughs> dirty but that's cheap. what every dollar store is, right? <laughs> yeah, it's fucking dirty in here, but it's also cheap as fuck. Stinky peeps, dirty but cheap. Now Dollar Tree though, they're pretty good at Dollar Tree. They got a they got a lot of bombers and stuff. A lot a lot of what I would say maybe both stores sell is stuff that just didn't end up hitting the shelves in other stores or didn't sell well. A lot of it's not off brand. Oh, that does not seem to. That work shotgun is is fucking feast or famine. You really gotta actually hit with it. And the aiming is a little difficult too because you gotta kind of eat everything. So it's not hit scan. Speaking in terms of Richie would understand. Projectiles. Oh, fuck What that. a bold move. Fucking charge right oh, yeah, into the Yeah, definitely didn't have this soon. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck are they? Oh, they're here somewhere. I think those, those ones when they start barking, when they're like... <laughs> uh, it even says Gord. I have to sort of lean down because this is killing my wrists. Is there a reason you're looking at the floor over? record now. 75 was it? Yeah. What do you think this 
this game looks like if you like got into the... Like third person it? No, like if you just turn the brightness up, <laughs> would it look dumb? <laughs> I don't know, probably. I like how when you die they kind of just start floating around. Realize that like like the blood spear is really good. Well, like I guess the energy to die. I got two transfixed. I suck at this. <coughs> After this, I want to watch somebody, like, I want to watch, like, a Devil Daggers, like, complete. I thought you were going to say a uh, Devil Daggers slut. <laughs> and I also want to watch it. Six, oh, that's a lot of sixes. <laughs> All right, leaderboards. More. Number one. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like, Downloading replay. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's cool. You can do that. <laughs> what? <laughs> can you jump? Wasn't this like this guy's jump? Over a thousand seconds. I didn't try to jump. Oh, he's jumping a lot. What is he doing? Oh, he's trying to get his acrobatics up. <laughs> like, Look at that. he killed that thing so fast. What's he doing? He's coming like butter. He's not killing the things. What? He's just standing still. Maybe they only spawn when you move. Like, that would be like just easy to achieve. Mm. Why is he killing me? What? Yeah, there's that power from getting the gems. Ron, he knows a lot. You don't. Notice how all the gems are like coming to him? How's he doing? I don't know. Can you upgrade? No. Yeah, watch it. Maybe he's I not think they like bounce. Because it respawns? He just does bullshit? It also seems like they emit a little bit of light, so it's easier to see here. He's like flipping the like, mouse too. You think he has his like, keyboard turned to the side? <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, that's <laughs> good. A lot of kids on TV. Yeah, did you notice that crystal came like right at him? Yeah, that happened to me a couple times. Well, I noticed the crystals like bounce, so maybe he like just knows where to be. Oh, that could be. Also seems like there's a lot of those towers. Like he's definitely letting them build up. But... See, I guess the thing is like. The towers are not a big threat as long as you don't have anything. You killed that big thing. Look at that bone thing, you see that? Yeah, is it like diving into the arena? They look like it. Oh, I bet he's saving up those things so we can get all the crystals at once. Oh. For when it's harder. Stack 
second. Oh, look how many crystals that has. You just shoot them right at them. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ron. This guy beats you. Ten, I mean, ten out of he ten. was the number one yeah. ranked dude. So. He developed it. Look at that thing. Gross. Still that big bone creature. Wow. Wow! Holy <laughs> shit. He must be invincible when you got the super. I don't think so. I think he's just good at clearing a path for himself. I don't think so. Boom, boom, boom. It sounds like he's hitting a racquetball. He's getting so many gems. Yeah, see, they're like really coming towards you. Maybe if you're not shooting or something? No. Well, maybe. Yeah, maybe it's like uh, they start coming towards him. I so if he's, like, if, if he's like feathering the trigger, maybe it is more. Or if you shoot them. Like, is he like slow? Yeah, that's from the, the game on the game. So. He's got so many gems. Yeah, like a yeah. yeah. look like it. It looked like you had to kill two sides of it. It's like you can barely keep up with what's happening. It's another bone creature, but it looks way different. What kills him? What what finally ends this guy's streak? This guy's like small. Does he just get tired? I know. Murdering demons 24 7. He also knows exactly how many shots kill everything. Yeah. I bet he also has like. That looks insane. I think it's humongous. Is he just peeling like gems off of that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's amazing is like this is like a 20 minute long video and we're like what five minutes in yeah it's what like and yeah, it's already buck ass wild yeah that's gotta be so satisfying to just like just be ripping a billion gems off that thing oh my god it's hard i can't i can't even Crush the Melodica Mag base. <laughs> <laughs> After this, you will. <laughs> You'll be like, this is not the goes down there with there. a fucking full auto machine gun. Like, yeah. <laughs> Start shooting that. He's chilling. Oh, boy. So cool. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because when you're playing, I'm like, oh, this is the whole game mode? No, not even remotely. There's one of those fucking skeleton things in there. Oh, that was annoying. I wonder if it loops this. Some dude's like first time playing this game. It's just like, whoa, God! <laughs> He's like, man, this whoa. game's pretty good. <laughs> just took a riddle in. He's like, oh shit! <laughs> It's 
like spikes coming up through the ground. There's a lot of flicking the house. Just, it almost seems like really, really, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like it's his first time ever fucking <laughs> that flying fucking thing? Yeah. Holy shit. I think like, perfectly knows like which way to go. Oh, wow. This is what hell is, by the way. <laughs> like when you when you die and go to hell, this is what We're just watching this. Hey, we've been commenting. You commented a couple of minutes. I mean, it's been a few minutes since I even had a thought. I'm just watching this guy wreck shit. This is a cool fucking game. I somehow want this to be like a screen too. <laughs> this guy. Just this, like, this video oh. playing all the time. Oh, he's getting very tired, right? Yeah. Look at how there's so many big flying skulls. I gotta see how he died. You think it's just like one of the, like, breaking their ass skulls? <laughs> yeah. Cool. <laughs> Or eat it, I don't know. His, his record was only like one second off from the record. Like, the fact that he can, like, follow that thing perfectly... Can he blast some of those skulls that I need to do? Yeah, I mean, he clearly knows where shit spawns. Which I don't know how, there's no, like... You know, mod, like, markings or anything to, like, show you where like, this is... Dude, they probably spawn like in certain. Did you see the big old spider? That was but they probably spawn like at certain points of the map that help them orient themselves. So, you'd be like, if the tower's here, then I know like where I am. Oh, he's got the fucking notice that he's always running forward. He's never running backwards. Like, I'm always running backwards. <laughs> you notice that? Yeah. Oh, there he was running backwards for a second. I imagine it also must be hard to figure out, like, priorities. Yeah, it's gotta be something that takes a lot of Thousand seconds. Uh, it was like 1160 seconds, right? Yeah, I think that's minutes. just under 20 minutes. Because 600 seconds is 10 minutes. I mean, we still got four more hours of the stream. Yeah, this is the six hour episode. Yeah. I might take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> We're all gonna take naps for the next four hours. I guess that's a big TikTok thing. 
people filming themselves sleep all night? And people watch it live? Didn't, uh, isn't that a fucking... Didn't, what's his name? The artist who did the suitcase? Chat, help me out. Who's the artist who did the soup cans? Andy still, Warhol. Still I'm pretty sure. I'm, yeah, there, it looks like we got at least somebody watching. Uh, Andy Warhol, I believe, filmed his mother sleeping. Filming yourself sleeping is, is one thing. Filming Ma sleeping. <laughs> I have a feeling Karen wouldn't have anything to do with that. Yeah, I probably wouldn't be the I'm not the guy to ask. <laughs> I wonder if he, because it looks like as he collected those things, his like basic attack did get upgraded. I wonder if it continues getting upgraded. Look at his hand. Although that's how my hand looks after like an hour of gaming. <laughs> because of my carpal tunnel. <laughs> Red and throbbing. Technicality. Nobody can see what we're talking about because we're right in front of it. Yeah. The whole couch blocks. You can see his fingers. On his fingers. Oh, I got a stitch in my side. It's not fun. Take a deep breath. That usually fixes it for me. It hurts to take the breath, but then it is like go away. And you could have got a lot of respect if you would act like you, you were playing. Oh, if I did like one of these, like, just like lean forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't even have to move as much, so I don't think they can see the right. Yeah, but you also got to do some. Oh, 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 oh ah. <laughs> And you could do like a thing where you like juggle the mouse. <laughs> like, and like do like a no look. Just do like a blindfolded run. Would it be good to have you if I took a nap? No, probably, probably not. I mean, you're not on TikTok, so probably not. Not on TikTok. Yeah. Chat. Spam the chat with fours if you want to see me take a nap. Four in the chat if you want to watch Harley Sleep. This is getting crazy now. Oh, just now? Unfollowable. Like, just now? I mean, I was able to follow most of what was happening. Like, okay, now he's shooting at this thing, now he's shooting at that thing. Now I haven't seen anything new. We got four in the chat. Look at how much he just... I assume it's... A, I'm assuming it's a human. It could be anybody. But... Oh my god, that's new, isn't it? No, 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 that's one of those things. I guess no. I just never saw it spawn. Usually that's a zip for a while. Jacob, just... Jacob put a four in the chat. <laughs> yeah, I put a four. I got your back. I tried to get it started for you. <laughs> Though a lot of times people can't hear us over content. Yeah. So I turned it down. I turned the desktop audio down. Yeah, but I bet, I bet this game has... Has some, uh, With all its wet yeah. noises. And... You probably got a couple mutes out of it. <laughs> oh god. This is actually all the noise you're hearing is the next Mastodon album. <laughs> some of the stuff in this really like totally looks like it could be a legs right next to like the screen. Look at what's going on. Like, tell me that this is 
This, this is way less readable than what it was before. I don't even know how he understands where to look. I wonder at what point you're like, all right, now I'm getting nervous. You know what I mean? If you're yeah. one of these guys, if you're like this guy running this, and you're just like blasting through it, you're like, oh, okay, now, now we've entered territory I've never been before. Now I'm going for the record. I wonder if um, while the enemies are alive, if they can like pass through each other, because maybe he, because I've noticed like when he kills something, he runs through it. Maybe it's because he knows that's like a safe spot. For, like, oh, a second. maybe. It looks like it's taking longer for him to kill stuff. Yeah. Oh, what is even fucking <laughs> happening? It's just a mess of tentacles. <laughs> oh, God. He's alive right now. Oh, he died. Oh. Wow. God. My record? 75 seconds. Good job, Pocket. <laughs> yeah. Pocket, whoever you are. Wow. Yeah. That was pretty impressive. Gentlemen, I think we can call it there. There. Let's switch it over to the... <sighs> Thank you for joining me tonight. Yeah, it's been an honor. I'm tired. It's been an honor to We're play all with you. I'm very, very tired. Let me finish my... Alright, everybody, we're going to cuddle up and take a nap. Yep. You don't want to see this. Oh yeah, I hit that corona. Got that corona. Oh, We're so, not afraid. Uh, <sighs> that's yeah. most Ron's drink Please in sponsor here. Us. <laughs> that's a nice light beer. It doesn't, you know, it's not, I'm not even buzzed. Yeah, two beers. You guys want to play this game real quick before we go? No. No. Come on, I bought this fucking game so we can play it on the stream. Hey, hey Ron. Come on, man. Come on. Uh, one I'm round. I'm good. I'm hey, good. Ron. <laughs> one round of it. No. no. It doesn't what? hurt. When I bought this shirt. You, like, made the most violent reaction it's ever. It's shocking. It's literally just shocking. One game of it. That's hurting. One game of it. Let's do this. Does it put electricity into my hand? I don't know. I don't know how it works. I'm good. One game of it. Jake? Come on, man. I feel like like the worst possible scenario is like, my fat ass has a heart attack. You <laughs> have a heart attack. <laughs> Didn't there, anybody ever get you with one of those little hand buzzers? Yeah. It, I thought that was like real electricity, though. I, it's just like a little shock. And I died. It just buzzes your hand a little bit. This is all a hallucination while I sit in the ER in 1995. Let's just uh, play one little bit. I'm good. Jake? I'll do it if Harley does it, and I don't think There's Harley a chance does. you can I win. I can't do it. No, I'm undefeated, which means My I can't risk it. My brain won't let me. Come on, man, one more. No, it's too much anxiety. Once, you, once it's done, though, you ever heard the phrase, eat that frog? No. If if you got something, <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> if you've got something, this is some wisdom for folks in the chat, okay? If you've got something that you have to do but you don't want to do it, you do that thing immediately. If you know this you have is... to eat a frog today, today I have to eat a frog. Make that the first thing you do because it gets it out of the way. You just mm, it's ripping off the bandaid. That's the worst thing I have to do today. Let's just do it right now. Let's go. Ron with four Corona, empty Coronas in front of him. Eat that frog. Beer. Eat that frog, Harley. Good. I don't Shit. have to eat Come on, frog. man. Come on. I don't have to eat the frog. <laughs> he just sets it down. <laughs> Somebody play one game with me, Jake. God damn it, Ron. I can't. I have too much anxiety. It's going to be all right. There's a chance you could win. Use that anxiety to feel your clicking. All right, let's do it. I would say I've already done it. And Jake hasn't, so. So, Harley, Jake you sh you're being a coward. Yeah, big time. No, no, you have to do this. this Why? Way. Because it's two-player. 
Harley, you hit the center. I button. don't want to. Oh, you knocked over a Chelsea cheesecake. All right, the center one. I'm yeah. not consenting to this. You, well, you picked it up. Come on, Jake. hold on. Let me dry my hands off. Yeah, so you don't fucking cause like a grease fire. <laughs> 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 They're not a greasy. Crease. It's not gonna cause a fire. It runs on a double A battery. <laughs> What's it gonna do? Fuck. All right. You ready? Yep. Yeah. Jake, you gotta be ready to press the button. As soon as that stops. Screaming sound <laughs> reminds me of Double Daggers now. <laughs> you know what, Ron? That did feel good. <laughs> I like how Jake immediately like threw his controller uh, as he won. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Jake, wave goodbye. Bye, everyone. See you. Yeah, everybody.